Thank you for joining us. Thank you very, very much to Nigeria indeed. To Nigeria indeed. Welcome to the program. This is Homeland Radio Biafra. We are broadcasting live from here in Biafra land. By me, myself, fearless IPB evangelist Mazi Marachumachuku. I am from Ndiabo. Ndiabo is in Aninri. Aninri is a local government in Ojiriva province, Biafra land. I am a homeland broadcast on the IPOB. Namdi Khan is our leader and he is still incarcerated in DSS solitary confinement, illegally detained. And since of his illegal or from his abduction from Kenya to Nigeria, IPOB have stood their ground in maintaining self-determination. So from that maintaining self-determination, it have led us to this place where we are, that the secret that Nigerians have been hiding, which Nandikan have been exposing for long, they keep unveiling it by themselves. Nigeria keep nailing themselves, though they are prosecuting Nandikan for, though after being discharged, they are prosecuting him for um, exposing one Nigeria, which they falsely claim that doesn't exist. But through our perseverance for over three years now, it has been manifesting and it keeps manifesting. And we are almost at that point where Nigeria will collapse. They keep unveiling their division. They keep unveiling their wickedness. They keep unveiling the stupidity of the British in creating a rubbish in Africa. Nigeria keep exposing the British in their creation because Nigeria was not meant for the economic of anybody to grow. Nigeria was not created for anybody to be rich. Nigeria was not created for anybody to be secured. Nigeria was not created for anybody to be saved. Nigeria was created just because the North is too poor. And that is why Nigeria will never reflect to the life of the so-called citizens positively. No, it can never. The reason why Nigeria was created was just for a point, just a one single point. Why did you amalgamate the, Nigeria, the North and the South? Lugard said, because the North is too poor. And that is why we are here. The Yorubas are defending the poverty of the, the, the creation of the British that have no underlying statement that is valid to be presented to humanity as a reason why Nigeria was created by a foreigner and today they are unveiling the reasons. The reason is to make sure that the people from the East does not exist. The reason that the world conspired together and ended up in a lie, which they call no vito do vanquish, was because they want a particular region to be diminished from the earth. And that is why, after their concussion, they keep sponsoring this very rubbish they call Nigeria, where all citizens are dead. Uh, all, every citizen of Nigeria are uh, in condemned criminal. So you are equivalent to a dead person. Facebook, are you understanding? Everybody in Nigeria is have been mandated to meet one thing or the other, either from the Fulani Hesman terrorists, or from the army, or from the police, or from anybody, even from the president policy, you can still meet your death because it was only created just because the North is too poor. So let us go direct to this very video or the screen. But before we go there, we have to listen to Oba of Lagos. Oba Akiolu, Oba Akiolu, thank you. Thank you very, very much, Abba Akiolu. I know why I made some, um, I, made, I presented my preamble or our preamble from that very point because everything happening in the zoo must be connected to Mazen Amdekano's illegal detention because it all connects. And we keep reminding them that these things was what Namdekano was saying.
he said we are not welcome in Nigeria. He said Nigeria is not one country. Namdekanu said the system of Nigeria will never ever work. Namdekanu said Nigeria is mapped out for destruction. Namdekanu said if we keep maintaining one Nigeria, one Nigeria will destroy us. Then let us go and see if that is true. Listening to Oba Akiolu of Lagos, I think we have to listen to him. If the voice is not coming out clearly, then you let me know. We are here in a ground where the enemy has surrounded, both on the main road, both even on the air, everywhere they surrounded our land. So you should pardon us in any situation you see us here because it's not easy to voice out from a dungeon where the enemy have surrounded. Very, very important you understand this. Thank you. Listen to him. If any one of you, I swear in the name of God Almighty Allah, goes against my will that I'm born, inshallah, will be the next governor of the world. If any one of you will die inside this world. What did he say? I'm not ready to prepare. I think to anybody. And that's why I shall go and the governor says, I think that is your own. Even the two of them, they cannot disobey me. But nobody knew how I killed somebody. You need is my blood relation. And I told him in the first language, you can never be God no religious for now. People belong to God. I'm not begging anybody to do what you must know. And it's what you people cannot do in your job. What you cannot do in a bar or anywhere. If you do what I want, let us will continue to do that for you. If you go against this, you will get this in the water. Finish. Share it very wide. That is where we are heading to. They thought we are joking and we want you to understand it. Understand the game. Are you getting it? That is where we are heading to. Thank you. Because the woman or the lady is from Biafra land. She's Igbo. I have not read from what she said or have not heard from what they said, he said uh, she said. But I am concerned about the very urgent action by the so-called National Assembly who all took oath to stand in the truth and defend the Nigerian sovereignty based on the Constitution. These people were there, the same court that approved the electoral process, the same court that made them honorables, the same court that made them excellency, because that court, the, the, the Constitution established the court, and the court also um, the court, that the constitution established the court and also established the, um, the uh, what is it called, electoral process that through that they became House of Rep members or senators or governors. But do you know that the same constitution was what the same court used on the case of Fundam de Kano, the same House of Assembly members was so down to come and defend their constitution. What is happening in Nigeria, they cannot defend it. Fulani headsmen terrorists have been massacring communities. The Fulani headsmen terrorists have been threatening people. They have threatened so many regions. Fulani headsmen, Mieti Allah. The House of Rep members, they are aware that um, Sheki, um, what is it? Sheki Gumi have been collecting ransom for Fulani who have been massacring communities. This thing they call threats, they say is a threat from, um, what is his, her name? Is it Tina what? What is her name? Let me check. What is her name? Let me check, please. That thing they say what is her name? Is a threat. Let me go and check, please. Okay. Let me check. Amaka, okay. Amaka patient. 
Okay, I'm a capitian. Okay, let us move. I've seen it. They say Amaka patient threaten the Bini people, isn't it? Amaka patient threaten Yoruba people. Is that not what the House of Rep wrote there? Now, compare treat to those that are killing people. Share this program. Oh. Compare treat to those who have already caused mass burial in communities. Now, after comparing, which is Fulani Hesman terrorist, after comparing, now you begin to ask yourself, where is the one Nigeria? <laughs> you know, House of Red members, they are defend, they want to protect lives. You know, they said it is a threat against a warring, a warring threat against the Benin people and the Yoruba people from Amaka, patient, isn't it? But Fulani Hesman are killing directly, not a threat. So, Mietiala are sponsoring Flanny Hesman terrorists to kill directly. And the Nigerian House of Assembly members, they, 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 they signed 100 billion naira to Fulani Hesman terrorists under Buhari's government. The same House of Rep members that sponsored the very request of uh, Buhari's government to give Fulani Hesman 100 billion naira is the same House of Rep member who is um, <laughs> now writing to the Canadian uh, government, the Canadian House, to hold an Igbo woman. They say threats. No, I do not support threats. It is not in our nature. But there is something I want to. Is, is it not if you can't one, you can't two? Now, Threat is a part to the person have not killed. I am coming to order of Lagos. There is something I am analyzing here. Threat is different, though, but this one is a full annihilation is killing direct, causing pains, destroying farmlands. The same House of Assembly member, the same House of Rep, approved the demand of Buhari's government. In the absence of Buhari, even as Buhari died, they granted Fulani Hesman terrorists 100 billion naira to acquire more weapons to continue to kill. Now, if House of Assembly member can support Fulani Hesman uh, terrorists with 100 billion naira, now, when they tell you that they are, they are against somebody who posts street on tribes, either Yoruba or Bini, though the person is Igbo, based in um, abroad, right? Now, they are now playing safe. But the main debt here, this one is threat, to oh, it have not happened, oh, but the main debt is here, they pamper it. The main debt is here, they give ransom. The main debt is here, they honor it. The, same, the main debt is here, taking lives. House of Assembly member gave them 100 billion naira under Buhari's government to keep killing. But they say Amaka threatened to keep, threatened to poison. But compare it to Flanny Hesman, I am coming to above Lagos. But I want you to compare because we keep connecting the dot. Compare this to Wiki that massacred thousands of Igbo people in Obibo. Compare this to um, Tinubu that gave order that NSAS protesters should be killed in Lagos. Compare treat with killings. Compare three that have not happened. Compare it with people that have carried on. Compare the killings of massacres um, of protesters that have Nigerian flag. The House of Assembly member are the people who is still loyal to the same Tinubu that ordered for the killings in Lagos. Over of Lagos did not say anything, but over Lagos was threatening Nibos. But I want to connect the dot, please. Do not be in a hands. I am coming to above Lagos, but we are connecting the dot. Very, very important you understand this. Do we understand? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So there is something we want to present to the world. You know, when the, the, the House of Assembly members, they want to play. They want to play as if they cares about Nigerian citizens. These are very, very wicked people. The people that Imo State, Enugu State, Ebony State, Abia State, Anambra State, 
protested against NSAS that was formed by governors, killers. Do you know that this Ebubago was killing people? These citizens protested. Do you know that they, today the House of Assembly member have never said anything? We are talking about people that take lives, not treat. This is not treat. We are touching lives they took. Do you know that Nigerian House of Assembly member was there? Nigerian state sent their army to go and kill them. They've carried on Python dance. On the, in the house of a man who was granted bail by Nigerian state, do you know that the House of Assembly member have never called the army to come and explain? But we are talking about life. They are talking about protection of life. The same House of Assembly members, they were there when the NSAS protester was massacred in Lagos. Did they call, did they hold any governor? Do they hold the army? Even upon all the, the international, um, um, what is it called? intervention, do they do anything? Now, Sheikh Igumi is collecting ransom for Fulani that have massacred communities. Mietiala terrorist leader have been freed by the Nigerian government. There was nothing that this House of Assembly member do. I remember we did not support any treat, but we want to, before we go to treat, we will handle the matters of those that have taken life and are still taken. Now, how do you ignore people that are taking life you say you are going after somebody who threatened. You know, when you want to witness to Nigeria, it is in this time. Though they have been presenting one to you, but it is two. You can see it. Are you not seeing two Nigeria? I have not come to Oba of Lagos. I just played the voice. You know, <laughs> immediately I saw this member. I said, okay, let me go and prepare. <laughs> they have to understand who we are. Right? Thank you. Thank you. So, now, what are you seeing in the one Nigeria? What is the name of um, Omar? What is the other one? That uh, was even pushing, telling you what they will not vote in Lagos. They stopped them, or more what? He stopped Igbos from voting in Lagos. House of Assembly member, oh, they did not uh, call for the arrest of um, uh, the other Yoruba guy. Right? House of Assembly, this one happened in Nigeria, oh, not in Canada. We are telling you that Fulani is killing in Nigeria, not in abroad. We are telling you that Mwike killed in Obibo, not in abroad. We are telling you that Ebubago killed here. In Imo, in Uganda, not in abroad, do you know that citizens protested against the Bubago, but the House of Assembly members, they are still like that today. Nobody was questioned in the Bubago. Nobody was questioned. Nobody was brought to justice. Nobody, nothing, nothing happened. And they thought that we are witnessing one Nigeria. Some people are so foolish thinking that after all this, they are rubbish, that people from the East will begin to think about Nigeria. People are, Ojuku said, they force us out of one Nigeria. They force us out. And there is a, an adage from our side who said, Onya Jorana had drawn where. And that was why we took our stand and defend our land. Thank you. You can see it. As an assembly member, they knew that um, they recruited a criminal base in Finland. He killed a pregnant woman in Enugu. Finland government came here. They, are, they, they investigated the death of a pregnant woman killed under the order of Simon Ebrima. On the 10th of December 2022, the House of Assembly members, they got the information. They saw that there was an official investigation from the Finnish government in Nigeria. Do you know that the person that, the woman that was killed was Nigerian citizen? Do you know that Nigeria did not go for that? But it was the Finnish government that came to save their image because the person that gave order for the killings under enforcement of five days at home, starting from nine, which failed, and they used to they choose to force it on the tent. So now, when Nigeria was an opportunity to intervene over the killing of their own, right in the name of force at home by Simon Eber on the tenth of December 
2022, he was arrested in Finland and was interrogated. And the House of Assembly members was there that somebody is in Finland, he killed a pregnant woman, and they were there. They knew now there was an official investigation from Finnish, and they were seeing the interrogation presenting what they did was to go and block it. Now, I ask you, do they actually love the citizen? If they can allow a bubago and nobody has been questioned on the bubago's activities, are they after the citizens? If these people can be can sign 100 billion naira to Fulani Hesman terrorists that have been killing people and they say they are House of Assembly members, do they love the citizens? No. What they are implementing here is Ibophobia. Ibophobia, they started it in Lagos, they are extending it abroad. That is what House of Assembly members are doing here. We do not support any threat of any kind, but what we say is that before you go and talk about people that threaten, then you must talk about people that are carrying on the death, carrying on killings of people. So if you have not handled matters that took life, why are you going for somebody you say that treats? What can you, how can you compare treats that have not happened to what is happening to lives of people in Zamfara, people in Katsina, people in Kaduna, people in um, Gombe, people in Adamawa, people in Borunu, people in Benue, people in Kogi, people in Yoruba land, Ondo, people in Ogun State are facing Fulani killings, people in Nsoka, people in um, Boni, they are facing Fulani killings, people in Akwaibom, they are facing Fulani killings and terrorism, and the House of Assembly members are there. They knew that these people have leaders. They knew that this what they are telling us is all about. They now allowed um, the House of Assembly sign livestock. House of Assembly members is forcing us to give our land to terrorists. House of Assembly members are ignorance, uh, are claim, claiming ignorance of the killings of citizens by Fulani, but they are hunting somebody they say she incited or she threatened. Not to do, she have not done it to, but we are asking you, Osari Dokobo, who threatened Igbo people, Asari Dokobo, we are asking House of Assembly, are you the people that send Asari Dokobo? If not, why have you not summoned Asari Dokobo who said that Igbo people should be killed? They should be killed in their home when they were killing us. Why were you silent? When they came in the name of Ibubago, why were you silent? Why did you keep quiet? Hope of the man was killing us. Who, um, what is his name? Devil man who was killing us. And Hope of the man is still killing us. Now, using a Bubago, which Dokobo vowed to do, are you telling us that House of Assembly member did not hear from Dokobo when he was threatening Igbo people? Are you telling us that there was no House of Assembly member then? Are you telling us that these people are working? Are you telling us they are not practicing Igbophobia? Are you telling us that they don't know what they are doing? Are you telling us that they are not aware of um, uh, Sheikh Gula and um, um, what is his name? Sheikh Gumi? that is collecting ransom for people that are killing citizens are you telling us that house of assembly members of nigeria are not aware of the mass barrier going on in the benue going on in the kogi going on in zamfara going on in adamawa going on in katsina going on in gombe going on in borunu going on in kaduna going on in so many places in the north the house of assembly members are not aware of the people carrying on these dead killings of people mass burial they are after an individual who they say that threatened bini he threatened yoruba but they have been seeing benin people threatening Igbo people here they are in nigeria or not in abroad threatening Igbo people from bini the Yoruba is not, that one is not something you measure. Yoruba, it is there, uh, you know, that is too Nigeria for you. The constitution backs up Yoruba people to threaten Igbo people. The constitution guarantees Yoruba people to tell Igbo to leave their land. The constitution, you know, because House of Assembly members, they are practicing to Nigeria. We are asking you, does it mean that Omo, Omo, what is that his name? That one that stop people from voting in Lagos. Are you telling us that these people, <laughs> they don't know what they're doing? That's why I say, let me present their injustices. Let us see the two Nigerians. 
and uh, they are just waking up. The House Assembly member was, uh, they, were, they were there, Attorney General that was appointed. MC Olomo, thank you. MC Olomo, House of Assembly members, they did not see MC Olomo. Are you telling us that there was no House of Assembly member then? No wonder Yoruba man is a president, Yoruba is a chief judge, Yoruba is attorney general, Yoruba is DSS um, director general. It is now Yoruba government to practice injustices. It is now Yoruba government to show their chameleon character. It is now Yoruba government to show their hatred on the people of Igbo people. Are you telling us that House of Assembly member of Nigeria are not seeing the cries of Benue people. They are not seeing the killing of Uzoan, the killings of Izombe, uh, the, the people of, um, what is his, their name? Even in Kano, even in Of, in Kano, in Kano East, they are killing them. In Eziago, Fulani is killing people in Eziago. In Udi, even kidnapper, Fulani is kidnapping, uh, kidnapping people in Ojiniva, in Enugu. Even down to Iguaba. No, House of Assembly members, they are not aware. I, will play, I want our people to join, then they listen to Oba of Lagos again. I know why I brought it there. He threatened, are you not seeing it? A headline from Nigerian News. Oba Akiolu threatens Igbo people in Lagos. Was he arrested? No. Uh, this one is not something they will use foreign affairs or foreign relations, um, National House of Assembly. No, this one is uh, Nigeria, happened in Nigeria. They ran away from it. They now stretch their hand to Canada. Imagine the injustice. No, we are not uh, um, backing up any threat, but we are, we are asking you, why can't, if you want to do justice, why can't you start it from the foundation? Where is the justice if the head of um Allah is still moving? Where is the justice? Where is the law to citizens from House of Assembly? If the Fulani can come to a community, kill people because of cow. If Fulani can come and boast and tell you that they will kill you because you killed their cow that was destroying your farmland. If the House of Assembly member can even support open grazing, if they can even be packing up rearing of cattle in our farmland, where is their love to citizen? This is partial love. This is hebophobia. This is rubbish. There is no law from House of Assembly. The House of Assembly member that rig election. The House of Assembly member that allow Malami to obtain court order that decides in Namdekano. Where is their conscience? A very a gathering of criminals, gathering of vultures, gathering of liars, gathering of um how, how do I put it? What do, where do you see House of Assembly member? Stupid gathering. Then all these things are happening in Nigeria. Okay, you are there to protect Nigeria's image. Does Nigeria have image? If Nigeria have image, why is the House of Assembly members quiet when Namdi Kano is in Nigeria detention? He told you that Buhari is dead. So are you telling us that the very threatening from, they say the Igbo woman threatening the Bini people and the Yoruba people. So you are telling us that Namdi Kano that exposed or let us just say that how Namdekanu presented the Buhari and the death of Buhari, does it mean that it is real? Now, why is the House of Assembly member quiet? Why can't they protect the image of Nigeria? So if an evil man, a evil woman, a maca patient, threatening Benin people and threatening Yoruba people, as they said, then... Are you telling us that the image Namdekanu gave to Nigeria through their president Buhari, are you telling us that the House of Assembly member, you accepted it? Now, I ask you, why have you not sued Namdekanu? Why have you not summoned Buhari to come and clear the image of Nigeria that they have been set on a very useless position on earth? Why, is they, why are they trying to tell us that they want to protect the image of Nigeria and thereby saving the life of citizens when Fulanis are killing, when citizens are also protesting against Fulani killings, citizens protest against the Bubako killings, but the head of this very organization, criminal organization, House of Assembly member, did not summon them. Now, Namdekanu said that Buhari died. Namdekanu is in detention. 
Oh, Nigeria have prepared five amended can charges, seven amended can charges, 15 amended can charges. Do you know that in all these amended can charges, there was none they added any single charge that said Nam Bikano destroyed, tried to turn the image of Nigeria by saying that Gwari died. Now, if they cannot challenge Nam Bikano in his presentation, forensic evidences about the death of Gwari, what are you telling me that this um, House of Assembly member want to protect? Do Nigeria have image? If they cannot challenge the claim of Nam Bikano that about five impostors have ruled Nigeria, what are they trying to protect? What is the image? Does Nigeria have image when Buhari um, Tinubu was raped in uh, into power? Does Nigeria have image when almost all the House of Assembly members was raped into power? W does they have image when they are there protecting a country that is obey court order? Do Nigeria have image when they are in a country where they do not have a particular thing they use to swan in with? Either you use Quran or you use Bible. Stupidity of the highest order. Which particular oath will hold you? Which particular God? Which particular religion do you base on? Rubbish people. Are you telling me that these people cares about their country and they are there? Nam the can claim that imposter was there and they were there. Imposter conducted election. They were there. Imposter handed over and they tell me that they want to protect an image. What image does Nazira have? I want to know. They have extended it to Canada. That is where to protect Nigeria image. But Nam Nikanu told you that Buhari died. Are you telling me that you accepted it? If not, why have you not summoned Buhari to come and clear the allegation that he is dead? Tell him that he's affecting Nigeria image. And you think that is not so you cannot do so. And you can stretch your hand to Canada. Though we do not support any threat, because we don't threat. But what we are saying is, have you handled the matter of Oba of Lagos? Then let us listen to him. Let us listen to him. Thank you. Thank you. Your duty is just to share the program. I will move on to the next one. I will move on to the next one. Don't give them a gap. Why are you here? Connect everything completely. Connect everything. How you make it easy? Connect a yin in it to Hyena, to connect a yin in it to Khan, connect a yin in anything you may know. Don't give them chance. I am a lady killer. It also Kaina Hose of Ma Kaina Hose of Ma, Mana Behashabia, a Murutisha Maka, Hagano Gidon Defense Labe, maybe Shia. In their next life, I will have an IPOB in her hand also. Fulani have been killing, massacring people, mass burial everywhere. Such as of assembly member did not summon, there is no single flan in jail, not even one in detention. They have extended to Canada. Hey, is he threatened? The, we are writing through the uh, foreign relations uh, on the House Committee, stupidity of the highest order. The same stupid people that gather in house signed 100 billion to terrorists that have put people in pain that caused mass burial, caused death, destruction of property, destruction of houses, burning of houses, destruction of farmland, chasing away communities from their community. They have brought in security in different places. Fulani Hesmen have brought um, IDP camp. But uh, um, Amaka patient have not caused any IDP camp. But uh, they are right in Canada. Now tell us what is the take of Nigerian state in this condition. What is their take? They are heading to full destruction. Tell me, the relations of all these things, everybody connected to this, tell me how they'll be feeling. Will the people ever from this side think about Nigeria? Because the purpose of creating Nigeria have not been achieved, and it keeps taking our life. The purpose of creating Nigeria by the God of Nigeria, he gave a statement, the creator of Nigeria. That is um, Lugard. They asked him, why did you amalgamate the North and the South together? He said, because the North is too poor. So if the North have not been rich after 110 years, I don't know what they are still doing in Nigeria. Is it 5,000 5, years that the North will be rich? Because Nigeria was not created for the West to be okay or the East to be okay. No, it was created for because the North is too poor. And so that's why if you see some Yoruba people trying to defend stupidity, I will be laughing at them. What was the purpose of the creation of Nigeria? Because the North was too poor. Simple. And I ask you, from 1914 to 2024, it is 110 years. And we ask you, have not become rich? The answer is no. Stupidity of the highest order.
and there is house of assembly. Mad people everywhere. Thank you. I landed on you. Anylandia gap. Anylandia gap. Hannah Zoma has. Okay, you want to rebuild Nigeria? Do you have image? Image. Country with the disobey, that disobey cut order. Stupidity of the highest order. So uh, tomorrow night, oh, as of assembly member, uh, we have uh, Nigeria have image. We must protect the dignity of our country. We must protect the life of our country. Show me a Bubago leader in your detention. Mad people. Listen to Akiolu. I swear in the name of God Almighty Allah goes against my will that I'm born there. Inshallah, will be the next governor of the United States. You basically are going to die inside this world. I'm not ready to take a thing to anybody. And that's why I said, and the governor says, I said, that is your own. Even the two of them, they are not his opinion. But nobody knew how I picked somebody. You mean? Is my blood relation. And I told you the first language, you can never be no longer with us for now. People belong to God. I'm not begging anybody to go, but you must not. I mean, what you people cannot do in the future? What you cannot do in Abba or anywhere? If you do what I want, let us will continue to be part of you. If you go against it, you will get this in water. Finish. <laughs> Are you getting it? <laughs> Should we play it again to National Assembly? If you are not, tag every media house you know to this program. Tag them now. They are here now. This is my page. You know how many radio stations following me? Zoo radio station. Zoo. I mean, Zoo, they follow me here. You know, not an ass in this page. Do you know how many of their agents following this page? Share the program very wide. Who told you they are not listening? Do you know how many people they employ into my page? And your page also. Uh, so you don't know. <laughs> people are being paid to give them what is happening. Continue your work. We know what we are doing. Radio station Suzu following this page in Elanya. Adi Amakwama. In case you don't know. We know. <laughs> we see them now. You might not the one that will get the, the, uh, the notification when you follow. Case. That's why uh, uh, my people they don't know. They don't even know what is happening. So let us listen to uh, uh, well that. Uh, what is his name? Oba of Lagos. Oba Kiolu. <laughs> National Assembly in Tor. Oh, IPOB, IPOB is here now to connect every dot. Every dot now. Yeah, now Chokwa Kono Dada. Dada, I have one in here. Hey, 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 Continue they lied against us then, but now we are with the truth to exposing them. So let us be so. Thank you. Thank you. Listen. Let me just go back to some, the one that is there. Uh, <laughs> No, let me play the other one. This one is too. No, this one will give you the foundation. Let me see. This one is long a little bit somehow. And it links to everything. Madam, all of you left your heart, left your village. Uh -huh, he's here now. Until one of you goes against the amber, they are shake. That is your end. Of you, I swear in the name of God Almighty Allah, goes 
the best man do that. I'm but they, inshallah, will be the next governor of the United States. The best man do to die inside the world. I'm not ready to beg a thing to anybody. And that's why the Kaisaju and the governor said, I said, that is your own. Even the two of them, they are not disobeying me. But nobody knew how I killed somebody. Who will be thrown inside the water? He is my blood relation. And I told him in the pain language, he can never be governor in Lagos for now. He does not belong to God. I'm not begging anybody to do what you must not agree. What you people cannot do in Odisha? What you cannot do in Abba or anywhere? If you do what I want, Lagos will continue to be close back for you. If you go against this, you will perish in the water. Finish. Perish in the water. Hey. Uh, have you you will be you will perish in the water you will be thrown in the lagoon <laughs> and you, you see you know after dealing with the house of assembly members on this game after now i will i will now work videos i will prepare videos that our people will download and post that you know how we fight small time <laughs> We don't care what you are doing to the woman. No. All we care is for the world to see your standard. The standard of Nigeria. The two Nigeria we are telling them for long. They have been pretending to hide. We are exposing the two Nigeria to the world. The world can now check by themselves. They can now check. Thank you. We would prepare video for them. A video with this man. No. This man video. I'll prepare it. So this is what I have come to present so that our people will also know how to confront them if you don't have basis of argument or you have no much facts to present. There are many facts. We will also go in and dip it out. I have presented so many things. Ebubago killings. You must always connect the dot. The invasion of Namde Kanos has python dance. The House of Assembly member have not summoned the army. We the Wike have killed us so with his brag on television and everywhere, national television. He was bragging and people was killed in OP, but massacred without going to court. Some thrown into river. And the Wike is now a minister in Abuja where the House of Assembly members are, and he is the Minister of Federal Capital Territory, where they all live and where they are operate. And that is what we are presenting to the world, the hypocrisy of Nigerians and their wickedness to the people of the East. So, our people must learn how to make use of these opportunities as in the kind of taught us. This is our position. Our position is justice for all. That is why POP choose self-determination because in self-determination, both the complainant and the accused, everybody will see their presentation. But in armed struggle, the other man can hide and you that want is doing the right they can even hide you you may not even carry your message out to the rifle channel or to the people that will understand your presentation these same oppressors may even go and lie against you even in abroad they lie against russia they lie against ukraine they lie against everybody lying every they succeed with lie you know white men they, they believe in lies in international politics, it's all about lies, lies, lies. But the lies are true too. Why it is lies is that what they are presenting in the open is not what they plan at the behind. The agenda is always different from what they presented in the open. That's what they play in the, all these Western countries. Don't, don't you see it? They will show another thing, but they are playing another thing. It's all about lie. If they don't lie, how do they name it lie? It's lie, Igbo language. No. So lie. If they don't thief, how do they name that in thief? So they must have it in their place. Right? If they don't commit fraud, how can they name that in fraud? So they started it, they named it, they knew it, they knew how, how harmful it is. 
before they name it that one. The same thing with us. We name those things and after our language. So that is what we are telling our people, that we are here to expose Nigeria and free our people because Nigeria is a foundation of 110 years, a foundation of lies, foundation of lies and deceit that need truth to be destroyed. If you shoot a gun, they have lied and they will continue to lie. They do not want to save anything. Just individuals are saving their interests. So if you challenge them with gun, they might kill everybody in order to present you to the world that you are evil. They don't care about the people that will be killed. Namdekan knows them. Namdekan knows the British. Namdekan understood what Ojuku told Jonathan. He said, Ojuku told Jonathan, start going to work from Enugu. Stop living in Abuja. I know these people. They are ready to kill everybody in the north. Or, in short, to kill everybody in Abuja. Not, no, he did not say not. They are ready to kill everybody in Abuja to make sure they get you. Now, compare that to what Boko Haram did. They were destroying their place in order to disqualify Jonathan. Are you understanding? Now, compare this to what is happening in the East. They sponsored terrorism in our land in order to discredit IPOB claims, uh, sorry, to, to discredit IPOB stand on self-determination. So, all these things they plotted are counter. So, they have posed our land under siege, hooking it to IPOB. IPOB that they live in self-determination, which is justice. Self-determination simply means justice. There may be injustice when you are shooting gun. There may, some, there may be some uh, rigors when you are shooting gun. But this kind of one we are fighting, Nigeria will be trying to hide. We'll be dragging them in the open. Nigeria will try to hide. We'll be dragging them in the open. Initially, when we started, they wanted to hide us. They said, don't talk about them. We said, okay, you want to hide us? No problem. We now hold Nigeria. We keep dragging them. We keep dragging them. We keep dragging until he reached to the extent they started shouting, Leave us alone now. Now they can't I believe you should stop. I believe the same people they, they wanted to hide. Do you understand? And when we hit them hard, they say, They should stop. They should stop. They are putting trouble in the country. But these, these people, they say they should hide. We never cause trouble, just our campaign. What is the trouble? Telling them that the British established lies which is basically in taking the life of the Easterners. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, they are. I didn't busy now. I didn't busy, but I got one hour time. I don't want to know. You got the idea. You got the idea. I got the idea. I got the idea. We continue. We continue. Do you understand? So that is the battle we presented. We want to do it in the open. They dragged Ujuku. Ujuku wanted to do it, drag them in the, to the open, Ghana. They came back and said, no, let us go behind and fight them. Then BBC will be lying to the world. This time around, they still brought the same thing. They kidnapped them, Ghana, and the British said, kill them if they come to show their power. Or that, or that they are not face. Only God, that in the last they are not face. We continue. Don't worry. I'm going to abandon the phone now. Go do Do you understand? That's what we presented to the world, how, Niger how ugly Nigeria is. By the time, if they choose the gun option, by the time that one will reach, Nigeria might have been destroyed because our pattern is top notch. We take you to that place you are hiding from. That place you refuse Ujuku from taking you to. That place, that documents you hide from uh, the documents of Abuli Ghana. You don't want the world to read. That is why IPOB is special, dragging Nigeria to the open for the sin of the world. Because yeah, this Nigeria, you see, is a foundation of lies. So we know the pattern we are playing. Not that we don't know what we are doing. We know what we are doing. And our people must understand this. Do not think like Nigerians. Nigeria believes in scattering because Nigeria is a lie. So when you present argument, they will come with war. 
Don't join them. Expose them the more. This is what Nnamdi Kanu told us. They will be angry because you won't expose them. They will come after you. Keep exposing them until they become weak. Their strength is their lies. When you are exposing the lies of Nigeria, you are weakening them. They don't have any strength and lies. So why do you choose violence? Can, don't you know Nigeria can cover up their lies with the violence? Is their best option. That is Nigeria pattern. To destroy. That's how police works. If an army person is killed around the community, the whole community will be burned down. That's what they love. They love it. It's their pattern of life. And the IPOB came, we said no. We'll not give you that pattern. That's why when they kidnap on Namkan, they built that pattern through a Berima. So that our land will be under siege. We neutralize Nigeria. We fight beyond their understanding. The only thing they know is gone. Because they have friends. They gave oil. Who will give them gone? But this is our presentation. Their friends will not come in the open. British Prime Minister will not come in the open and say, I don't want their friend to come. Are you not aware? They will go behind, which is rubbish. Your behind work is rubbish. What we want is, British Prime Minister said, don't support Biafra. But if you are fighting battle, the British Prime Minister will have a grant to speak in defense of their policy. Are you aware? And they will show their support. Do you know why they speak? They need their friends' nation to support them. If, I, if we are fighting war now, British will talk in the open. They will show their support to Nigeria. Then their friends will now support Nigeria. It is a call. But now we are fighting self-determination. They can never make an open speech. Do you see the pattern that they can use to shut the British down in the open? They can never come in the open and condemn us. Are you aware? That's why they play backyard game to go and kidnap an American because we beat them. We beat them hand, hands down. If we shoot a gun, they will make a speech. Their friends will come and support Nigeria. But we come with self-determination and their friends are questioning them. Do you see what we did to them? Do you see what we did to them? Bogey said, have one day and they are going, man, I leave them. Are you, did you know, uh, why did you allow your citizen to be in detention? When that thing was said, the same people we made them, if we did not let the world know what is happening, the British lie will still deal with you. They have the ground, they have lasted for years, thousands of years. So you will be there, they will meet their friends. They knew many kingdoms, they scatter. They knew the channels. British know how to fight you. But do you see this, our presentation to the world? British cannot defend it. We present the genocide. Can they defend the genocide? We present the illness, the illness of Nigeria. Can British defend it before the world? No. But if you shoot a gun, they will tell you, he's a rebel. They need oil. They need the resources. Now, what do we need? We need the freedom. Can British come with our matter to any country? No. They will go and tell the country, please help us. I feel we want to destroy Nigeria. Do you see they now beg the country? And the country will now know the truth. But if we are shooting gun, they will tell the country, IPOB is a terrorist. The British will be bold to do this, but now they are going through backyard. It has no way to compare with their open presentation. This is a very serious matter. And you should not play with what IPOB is presenting. Nigeria knew it. The expected gun is their best option. But we said no. Hold your gun. Shoot. We will not shoot. But we will drag you to the open. Ojuku knew this. He has gone. But he said no. Let me drag them to the open. He took them to, go on, go to Ghana. To, maintain, to make one Nigeria. But he secured our security. That's what he need. If he should gone, he cannot get his security easily. But he took them to there. He secured our security. He was basically on our security. That's what he went there to secure. Not even resources. No. But when they came, they saw he have won them. Now they tried to shut him down by coming with war. And he was on defense for three years. Then based on that defense, he now declared independence. Are you understanding? That's why we are here. Thank you. Thank you. So I just use this opportunity to drop this message to Nigerians for them to know what we are doing, uh, that we know what we are doing, and for them to know that we are not playing trial game, that we know the game we are playing and we are seeing the result. Right? So.
uh, they should understand. That's why from this message of this thing, I now give them this. Because after the Yoruba people joined to listen to this very program, then down to the program, they will now hear my presentation. That is why we are called IPOB. We utilize these opportunities. Nam the can you utilize answers. Nam the can you utilize every opportunity. The death of Buhari, COVID-19, there is nothing he cannot use. The stress is a weapon against the enemy. We apply it. You don't tell us how to fight them. You don't tell us how to, the face of enemy looks like. Because uh, our father told us how our enemy like, looked like. So earlier, we know the step of the enemy. We know uh, even how the enemy speaks. Uh, that is why we understand them very early. Before you come to explain to us, IPOB have seen their enemy and start fighting them. And you are the one who is even a glorious of our enemy. You come and tell us, hey, but he's your brother. Hey, they don't fight your brother. Hey, this guy is from Enugu. You are a mad idiot. If I do not, was he from South Africa? And from me, fearless IPOB evangelist, Mazemarap Chumachuku, I'm from here, our homeland, Radio Biafra. Here in Biafra land. It is good evening. Thank you.